you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. The tractor looks a little bit weird. No front end loader and no backhoe on it, but it had to go in for service and I thought now would be the perfect time to pick up the brush hog for it. I got a 48 inch land pride brush hog for this thing. I think this is going to work really good on our little homestead. We don't need nothing really, really big. We want to be able to get between the trees and this is just a perfect size. Now, I've been dealing with uh, uh, a Kubota dealer. His name's Chad. Uh, he has a channel of his own, which I'll leave a link in the description down below and see if I can put one up here for you, a tag. But he really does me good on these uh, attachments. If you guys are out looking for attachments, this is the guy to go to. Uh, if you're in Southwestern PA, he's gonna hook you up and he's gonna give you a good deal. He uh, does his best to give you what he can. I'm telling you, these Land Pride brush hogs are one of the best brush hogs you can get. So we're going to show you a little bit about the brush hog. I have a lot to do to it, but we're not going to be doing it right away because guess what? It's not spring, or it's not quite spring yet, and we have a lot of other stuff to do here on the homestead before we get this brush hog out and have to use it. But there is some adjustments we need to do to it before we get started. I'm going to show you the brush hog and tell you just a little bit about the brush hog. Okay, when you look at the back of the tractor and you look at the brush hog, you notice that the brush hog is not much wider than what the tractor is. This thing's a 48 inch cut. My tractor's a 48 inch wide tractor. So I didn't want a brush hog any wider than what the tractor is. And I uh, learned a lot of this from my buddy Chad, the one that has the tractor place. He fills us in on a lot of this stuff, what we need for these tractors. He's doing a very good channel on different attachments for different tractors and different types of tractors, which is really nice for us guys that are just getting started building one of these tractors up. All right, when you first look at the uh, brush hog, you're thinking, man, what a massive uh, tool this is. Look at the thickness, the thickness of this steel. This is all heavy gauge steel. That ramp. That skid on the front, that's quarter inch thick. That thing's gonna take a long time for us to wear it out. This is a very, very heavy deck. I see a lot of quarter inch. I see three eighths up here, three eighths up there, quarter inch here, quarter inch down through here. Good, heavy, constructed deck. Like I said, there's a lot of uh, what we're gonna have to go over and adjust this thing. It has an adjustment even on the back back here. Let me show you this adjustment. And I notice when these guys put these together, they don't set it for what you want it. You have to adjust this yourself. This is going to take the back end of this brush hog up and down. We're not doing no real big brush hogging, so we want this down a little bit lower. Actually, I do believe you could get these to almost mow grass. So you don't have to just use them for brush hogging. You can do a field that you want to cut all the time. This is something that will work just fine. Now, if you guys remember and you watch my channel frequently, you'll notice that I had a 44 Swisher uh, mower too, which it had its own motor on it, and I could pull it around with the gator, uh, which was a great little mower, but I figured I'd give it to my son. He has my old homestead. He needs something to mow the brush with, so that leaves us both with a nice brush hog. He can have my old one. I'll use this one. What's nice about this is it doesn't have a motor. It runs off a PTO shaft that runs right off the tractor. And to lift it up and down, the three-point hitch works that, which is really nice. Nice thing about this uh, bush hog, it uh, does float up here too. It has a, this piece up here allows this to brush hog to float a little bit up and down, which helps out a lot when you're going over big bumps. Okay, when you look at the side of the tractor, that uh, bush hog doesn't stick out the side very much. A little bit, but that's okay. We don't want it to go too far out the sides because then it's just going to catch trees and stuff like that. And when you're going around them, if you don't watch yourself, it'll twist your tractor around. I'll show you the other side. It's about the same distance away. It's almost flush. It's about six inches out past our towers, tires. Boy, I'm really happy to have another tool for the homestead. And this one's going to be a doozy. This is going to help us out a lot. That grass gets too high, we'll be able to bush hog it. You know, these land pride bush hogs, are, they're made to last for years and years if you take care of them. This gearbox has a three-year warranty on this gearbox right here. So we know that gearbox is going to be good for three years. After three years, if something don't happen to it, 
it's probably going to be just fine. We just want to make sure that we got the fluid in it. Keep checking your fluid and make sure it's good and grease any fittings that you need to grease on this machine and I guarantee it's going to last you for years. Very happy to have my Land Pride Bush Hog. So I would like to tell everyone, keep your eyes open for the next video on this brush hog because we're going to be setting it up. We're going to get it leveled out the way we want it and I'll go over some other things with it, with you. So I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. I got to get the loader back on this tractor.